Hey guys, what's up? It's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it has been a hot minute and I'm going to basically explain why I've been gone and get ready and try out some new makeup in this video. I know I'm doing another get ready with me, but hey, a video's better than nothing. <laughs> Um, but I do have some videos planned to film and go ahead and keep on watching if you want to see me get ready as well as kind of give you a life update. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting my hair up and then I'm going to be prepping my skin for makeup by using a face mask. I got this face mask sent through Octoly and I actually have a show tonight. It's opening night. And I am playing Winifred and Once Upon a Mattress at my local children's theater. And it's my first lead ever, and I'm really excited. Okay, so the instruction says to remove all makeup from skin, and then apply the Mummy Whipping bu Bubble Cleansing Mask. Um, in three seconds, bubbles will form. And you leave it on for three minutes. Okay, that's super fast for bubbles to form. It's soaked, like soaked. Now I'm going to set a timer, <laughs> and then I'll be back, and we'll see the bubbles. Okay, it has been three minutes. You can see it formed small bubbles. It wasn't a crazy foaming mask. That was a little bit disappointing. I'm going to pull this off now, and then rub the product into my skin, and then wash my face and hands so they're not all sticky. I literally look scary. The thing I definitely like about this mask is that it's only three minutes, but I do think this mask is expensive. I'm pretty sure it's like $30, so it's definitely a high-end skincare thing. Okay, so it's to, it's supposed to exfoliate and hydrate. Okay, oh, I feel bubbles like forming on my face again now that I've like rubbed this all on. I'm gonna go wash this off, and then let's get started with the makeup. Okay, I have just washed off my face. It feels super smooth, so I definitely feel like it was very hydrating. Um, personally, I don't know if I would purchase this mask just because it's $30 and that's really expensive and the only really thing it does is exfoliate and hydrate, but it is still a nice mask and if I ever want a smart splurge, I'll definitely use that one. It feels super nice, like, wow, my face feels good. <laughs> okay, let's get started with the makeup. Lately, I've been doing my brows first, so I'm going to bring you guys in a little bit closer and we're going to do the brows off camera and then we'll move on to eyes. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm going to be testing out the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette with BH Cosmetics. So I'm going to start by taking this matte um, all over shade and using that to set my lid. Now I'm going to go in with this nice taupe shade and I'm going to begin to blend this in my crease. I'm using a Morphe M441. Um, this color is super light, like lighter than I expected. There we go. I put more on my brush and it's going in better. Definitely a lot of fallout. I'm glad I'm doing my foundation last because yikes. I'm going to try and even it up, but this might be all I get. So let me just talk about why I haven't been uploading. Um, I've been moving, as most of you guys know, if you follow me on social media. That is the biggest reason, is that I moved, and that has been a lot of problemas. Um, the second reason is I'm in a show, as I and I've had rehearsals every weekday and, like, all day, so basically by the time I got home, I was just too tired to do anything else. And then I also went to a theater convention which um, took up about a week of my life. Okay, so I put on several layers of this color. I think this is as good as it's gonna get for my transition. Now, I really love this purple shade, so I think that's what I'm gonna go in and try and use and center my look around. I'm gonna be taking a Morphe M506. It's not super pigmented though. Like, as I blend it out, it's kind of disappearing. This is disappointing. I'm feeling underwhelmed by this palette so far. Like, look at that. I've applied this purple so many times, and it looks like the lightest wash of purple ever. Yeah, it all just kind of looks like a muddied wash of color. I'm going to go in with the deeper shade next to it and see if that helps. See, even this isn't even going on that deep at all. Are you kidding me? I feel like no one has really been saying that this palette sucks, so I'm just confused. Did I just get a really bad batch or what? Because, yikes. And they all swatched and nice, but they're just not sticking my lid. 
<sighs> Let's see, what can I do to fix this? I'm gonna go into my chocolate bar palette and I'm gonna take this, cha this shade Cherry Cordial and put that right on top to kind of deepen it up. Even this shade isn't that pigmented. Even then, yikes at these palettes. And you guys know how I feel about the Too Faced palette if you follow me on Snapchat. I said it's okay, it's not my favorite palette. I don't get why it's a cult fave. I'm going back in with that brown to hopefully blend a little bit better and add more transition-y-ness to it. So I'm packing more of that purple on. I'm do the same thing with the darker shade. Again, we're Fallout City. Hopefully the shimmers are the saving grace. I've used the highlights in this palette and they're stunning. I'm packing on more and more and it's just not happening. Okay, I'm gonna add the shimmer shade and then we're gonna see what happens and then I will finish the other eye off camera. I'm gonna go for this vibrant pink shade. Again, this one has a lot of kick up in the pan. It's not the best, but it's not bad. I feel like they're a wee bit chunky and it's hard to get a precise line. So to be able to kind of salvage this, I'm gonna spray it with Fix Plus. Ugh, this color just really looks awful with the shadows that I've used. The shimmer is nice though, like I would use this. So I'm gonna grab my Modern Renaissance palette and see if I can salvage the eye real quick. Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm just honestly so embarrassed. It looks like crap as I try to like layer these shadows on top of each other. It's gonna be such a fail video, I'm so sorry guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, it's looking kind of better, but it still just looks like a sloppy hot mess because those freaking Carly Bible shadows are just not helping anything. Nope, 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 nope. Don't even waste your 20 bucks of hard-earned money because this sucks. Okay, um, I kind of salvaged my eyes. Now I'm going to prime using the Tarte Poreless Primer. I'm only using this just to use it up pretty much. I got it as a sample size. I don't really feel like it does anything, but again, I haven't noticed my skin looking worse when I use it. Now I'm gonna apply my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is my favorite foundation because it's super lightweight coverage, but it is buildable. Now to blend it out, I'm gonna use this new Real Technique sponge from Octoly. Um, it is a new version of their popular Miracle Finish Sponge. Natural looking airbrush application of blush. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna try this for foundation because uh, I don't have any liquid blush. And I think it would be cool. But yeah, this thing feels so weird. It's like super porous and like textured. So I don't know how this will apply. Um, foundation, I feel really bad because I'm not actually using this for what it's meant to be. But maybe it'll give me, oh, it's blending this out nicely. Let me get a mirror so I can like look. The product is kind of like sitting on the top of this, which I think that's good. It's not like soaking anything up. It is definitely leaving texture marks though, which obviously is meant for blush, not applying foundation all over. So maybe I'll go in with a beauty blender after to like smooth it out. I don't know if I would buy a whole separate sponge just to use for a blush though. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. I don't know, maybe something I will try again. Who knows? But it is eight dollars, so I think I would personally stick with the regular complexion sponge. But I think this could be really pretty for blush. I just don't use liquid blush, so I feel like it caters to a small area of the market. Now I'm gonna conceal using Tarte Shape tape. Now I'm going to bake using my Kat Von D translucent setting powder and then I'm going to finish up my eyes with liner and mascara while this sets. I really like this powder. I feel like it gives me, it like brightens and gives me nice um, airbrush finish. Some people said that they've had flashback with this but I actually have not had any flashback issues with this. Now I'm going to be applying the NYX Epic Ink Liner. It is a brush tip. This is my favorite liner currently, except for the only thing is the bristles on this are really funky now. So you definitely have to be super careful when you um, put it in. I'm just doing a thin line of liner. Yeah, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take this brush and go back into Modern Renaissance and I'm going to take that Cypress Umber shade and just smoke my top 
lash line out. Okay, now I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some Flower Beauty mascara. Okay, now I'm gonna dust off my under eye bake. I always just use my Artiste brush to do this. It like dusts it off so perfectly. That makes me sound so bougie that like the only really thing I use with this brush is to dust off bake. That's honestly just because I'm too lazy to wash this brush because it has gunks of foundation in it. Um, I'm too lazy to wash any of my brushes. That makes me sound disgusting. I really need to wash them. Maybe I'll do that next weekend if I ever get a chance to do anything. Okay, and now I'm just going to go back in with that smoky brown and I'm gonna tap a bit of Love Letter on top. Or I'm gonna dab, dab that on the bottom of my lash line. And now I'm going to pop in a little inner corner highlight. I'm gonna try and go into the Carly Bible palette for this. I'm gonna take this big rose gold shade that's in a big highlighting pan and put that in the inner corner. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, good decision. Yeah, like the big highlighters are good and some of the shimmers are actually not bad. But I just think the mattes were a huge fail. Oh, I'm sorry the lighting in this video is so whack. Um, again, I moved. I'm really trying hard to get everything back to normal. But now I'm going to contour using my Too Faced Black Book of Bronzers. Oh, and this is just an apartment that I'm in, by the way. Um, and I'm moving out in like a month or so to our house that's being built. So I don't want to make anything too permanent and like nice in this apartment if I'm just about to move out again. Okay. Another first impression for you guys is this BH Nude Blush 10, 10 Color Blush Palette. I love, love, love this blush palette. So I'm going to take that second blush shade in there. It's super neutral. Mix it with the one right next to it and pop that on my cheeks. Okay, now we're going to highlight and I'm going to use a shade from the Carly Bible palette. I think I might use the same shade that I put on my inner corner. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take that rose gold shade. Put it on the tops of my cheekbones. Whew. That is beautiful. I'm going to mix a little bit of the white one in there to brighten it up. Oh, nice, nice, nice. So, yeah. Definitely, I approve the highlights and the shimmers in this palette. Um, I think there's one shimmer that when I swatched it was really chunky. Uh, what worked for you might not work for me and vice versa. So... Uh, my ultimate decision on this is I'm going to put this palette in my drawer and the drawer is kind of the makeup that I don't use as much. Sorry Car Carly, I love your videos though girly. <laughs> Next I'm going to use this Kaylin Cosmetics Matte Trio. These are matte and waterproof liquid lips. The, um, it has three shades in here. I will go ahead and lip swatch all of them real quick for you guys. These look like so nice. It's not, it's not too moussey, but it's also not too whipped at the same time. And this shade is not even going on patchy or anything. And it's a darker shade, and usually those are really hard to formulate and tend to be super patchy. Okay, sorry my lip swatch is really messy. Oh, it's already drying, basically. This is super pretty. I will definitely wear it sometime. Oh, yep. Super pigmented once again. I love this. Oh my god. Mm, yes. And once again, I only needed one swipe to cover all of my lips. Now we're going to do the last color that I'm actually going to let dry. It is the lightest color. It's a wee bit peachy of a nude. Oh my gosh, I love this color already. This one is a little bit streaky actually, but you know, it's a lighter shade. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I know my edges are freaking whack because I was taking off other makeup. But I'm not really going to worry about that because I'm just going to take this off. That's basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this is a freaking long one. But um, I guess a long video is better to like make up for not uploading. I promise I'm going to get better, guys. Just deal with, like, pray for me throughout this struggle experience. Okay, guys? I'm really trying. I really want to make YouTube a priority again. But this summer is absolutely crazy. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was kind of a mess. I really didn't expect most of these products to suck. But um, let me just recap the things that I, were, I was sent. I was sent these um, Kaylin Cosmetics lippies through Octoly. I was sent the face mask through Octoly. And I was also sent the sponge through Octoly. 
Um, I like the sponge. I like it for foundation, even though that's not what it's meant for. I think it applies at really full coverage, and then you just blend out with the actual sponge on top. Awesome. Love, love, love these lips. I'm going to wear them. Um, my lips are almost dry already, and it's super lightweight. Um, yeah, my lips are basically dry right now. Super lightweight. Love the colors. Definitely ones I'm going to wear for sure. Um, hate the Carly Bible palette. Nope, nope, nope. Um, yeah, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.